they are really running out of names for these movies. Anyway, Claude, the legend of Sasquatch, is as B-movie as B-movie gets. But is that a bad thing? Let's take a look. The movie starts out with the narrator telling us the history of Echo Mountain. Long ago, the natives coexisted with Bigfoot, or Takahe. Then miners came in and started to destroy the land, so the creatures killed the miners. More miners came in and they blamed the natives for the deaths. So the miners killed the natives. This has been known as the Echo Mountain Massacre. Well, that's all fine and good, but the narrator sounds like he is so bored that he really doesn't want to be doing this. Even today, when mountain spirits claim a life, it is we who are held in contempt. Four poachers are out in the woods hunting a bear, but they find something else. It kills three of them and leaves only Ed. He wanders around a little bit and is eventually found by the local ranger, John Eagleheart. In town, we meet high schooler Rich. Rich is the smart one in class and Jay is the bully. Jay is going to fail if he doesn't get a perfect score on their upcoming assignment, so he's paired up with Rich to help him out. Neither one of these kids are excited about this, but with no other choice, they team up. You and I obviously don't like each other, and that's cool. We don't have to like each other. We just have to work together. There's a big town meeting about the bear attacks. Of course, it's tourist season, and the mayor wants this all hush-hush. Why do mayors always act this way? The boys decide that this is the best way they can get an A, so they go into the woods to photograph the bear. They tell Jay's mom about this camping trip into the woods where a killer bear is, and she's fine with it. Mother of the year. Jay and Rich head into the woods with Jay's cousin Jenny and his girlfriend Shay. Meanwhile, at a local bar, Ed is gathering up people to go back into the woods to hunt the bear and kill John Eagleheart. For some reason, he blamed John for his friend's deaths. While getting sticks to build a fire, Rich comes face to face with the grizzly bear. He manages to snap a couple pictures and he doesn't move, but the bear loses interest and leaves him alone. You would think that would be enough to get an A on their assignment and they could just go home, but Rich stays. Why? Well, I guess that's a little obvious. The guys from the bar are also out there and they run out of whiskey. So Leo goes to the Jeep to get more. He shines the headlights right on Bigfoot in the woods and he has to hide under the car. It doesn't work though and Bigfoot gets him. Eventually, Eagleheart finds the hunter's camp. It's been destroyed by Bigfoot, but the hunters think Eagleheart did it. They capture him and tie him to a pole to use him as bait to lure in the creature. But they also insult him with the greatest insult of all time. Chief Eaglefart's monster. The kids are lost in the woods and Bigfoot's watching them. He attacks and they all go running. It's not looking good for Shay, but Jay saves her. Eagleheart manages to slip out of the rope and the guys hear something in the woods. He goes in to kill it, but it does not work out well. The remaining guy from the bar blames Ed for bringing them all out there. He threatens him and Ed just shoots him. The next morning, Rich finds the Jeep and a gun. I bet that'll come in handy later. For Jenny, the situation goes from bad to worse when she finds Ed in the woods. She thinks he'll help her, but nope, he uses her to make Eagleheart come get him. Now being forced out, Eagleheart shows himself to Ed. Bigfoot roars, Jenny elbows Ed, but Eagleheart still gets shot. Rich confronts Ed and shoots him. Bigfoot is watching all this, and the guys get video proof of the creature. Back in the classroom, the boys can't get the video to work, and the teacher isn't satisfied with their report. So they tell him all the evidence is on his desk. I guess Rich and Jay didn't want to look crazy in front of the class. The teacher watches the tape 
and takes the evidence to the media, who says it's a fake, which ruins the teacher's career. I can't tell you how ashamed I feel today. And that's Claude, the legend of Sasquatch. It's not going to win any Golden Globes, but it wasn't trying to. You should know what you're getting into just from the title alone. I like the setting. It was mostly filmed in the woods of Washington, and it is really pretty. Bigfoot looks pretty good, and the sound and music, although not great, they do their job. Technically, it's not a bad film. It's just the writing leaves something to be desired, and the acting... It's really easy to watch this film. It's available on YouTube and Tubi right now for free, so if you really want to, go ahead and give it a watch. I give Claude, The Legend of Sasquatch, one and a half eagle farts out of four. So, Dr. Dick, what really killed those men if it wasn't a bear, huh? Okay, it's rich. Nah, it's okay, Jenny. My grandma used to call me Little Dick. <laughs> Not even Jay can do worse than that.